Hello YouTube and welcome back to Antirex on Gaming. This is chapter 5 of Renbao. I think this is the last chapter, so we are now stuck in our bed. We've been chained and our Anti, which we actually hoped would be a good person, did this to us. So, yeah. Nurses always chain me to bed. So I have to try to get out. I'm not sure how to do it yet. I have not thought about what I'm gonna do. Uh, bit. Bit wit. A pain in this one. It's Kitty and me. Oh, okay. And the wind took all the magical dust away. So maybe I'm still in the hospital. Oh, hello. What are you doing in my bed? Are you sick? You're bad. This is my bed. And no, I'm not sick. But you are chained. Are you a dog? Wait, do I know you? I'm not a dog. And yes, I'm chained. Can you unlock it? Whoa, you are myself. You really are. You think so? Then this means that I managed to enter the ultra reality. Did you meet Itward already? He always talks about that. Yes, I met him already, but I haven't seen him since the crash. You crashed? That means that you're broken. I'm not broken, why would you say that? Think about it. The only way to cross the ultra reality is to break the eyes, to break the ears, break the physical limitation. That sounds extreme. You think I'm dead? No, not at all. They told me that to die is just a mental state. They, who are they? Oh, the creatures that we can see, the black ones, the white ones. Do you know why we can see these things? Yes, a man called Leon came to visit once and told me everything. Oh, and can you tell me then why we see the things we do? What about if I help you unlock the handcuffs first, then we can talk. Good idea. I also need to find Mr. Midnight. I think he's in danger. Aunt Grace blames him for the death of our parents. Who is Mr. Midnight? Uh, what? That's our kitty, you know. Our best friend. I don't have a cat. I guess that's the difference between us. Anyway, let me see if I can unlock you. So, they, so It so happens that I am a key collector. I'll be right back. Okay. Oh, I'm playing as the other me. Yay. Sweet, sweet melody. Now, where do I collect my keys to? Is it here? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Um, is that enough for us? Okay. Oh, she has nothing. Let's take everything else. Eh. Uh, oh, this is... Wait, how did she have this picture? Okay, interesting. She has a straight jacket in her... <laughs> in her closet. Okay. That's normal. I guess this is the hospital. Door is closed. This is my super cute rabbit. I like to make it cry. Uh, you're a nice person, aren't you? Alright, so let's unlock her. Let's see, which key? Mm, uh, they all look the same. Let's do this one. Nope. Yep. Okay. Thank you so much, friend. He, he, you really have a lot of keys in there. Yes. Don't you? Oh, friend, before I forget. Palantras told me that if we meet someday, I should give you this to you. Here. I think it will help you to open something. So, okay, it's a note. Let's read that. Uh, Palantras, you know him too? Wow, thank you. Yes, he also told me that if we met, you would be ready for what's about to come up. Ready for what? Tell me. I can't now. She's coming. Be quiet. Oh, it's the nurse. Come on, friend. You must see the doctor now. Can you see me? She can't see me. No, don't go, little friend. We have stuff to talk about. That nurse is bad. Bad nurse. She was the one lying to the newspaper about me. Anyway, I must find the monster. I'm sure he took Mr. Midnight. But nobody can take my kitty away from me. Nobody. Okay. Imagine X. Oh, I love this comic. So funny, she had keys, we have balloons. Interesting. What's this? My tiny socks for my tiny feet? A school case. Uh, this is the note he gave us. Uh, the little golden box was having a hard time. All the screaming and the boogers were driving me mad. I pressed it by the ears first twice to the left and once to the right. I rub it one, on, only white. I rub its only eye two times to see if it has tears this time. I take him once by the left ear and scream, stop whining, you little golden box. Press your eye again and open the door. 
Sounds like a hint. Wait, I have a sister? Alice from school. We like to play together. Okay. Nothing else that I can take here. What? What is that for? That's got. That has a purpose, right? Hmm. Maybe this has no purpose. Okay, moving on. Uh, let's check out Nutcracker. Dollhouse. Okay, so this is a puzzle, obviously. Don't know how to solve this yet. Okay, nothing else that I can take here. This is a cat's bed. There's a bunny here. Okay. So that's normal. I'm all a nasty creature. Excuse me, somebody down there? Yes, I am a somebody. Seen a black cat? No, I have not seen a cat, but I do see a black thing eating from me. Eating from you? I think it's a Kamali. Are you alright? Not really. I don't feel very well. I feel sad. I can help you. I can. I got rid of Kamala once all by myself. Really? That sounds promising. I'd love to be happy again. I'll see what I can do. Don't worry. So I think we have to find water to get rid of this thing. Uh... Things have changed a little bit. No shit, young girl. Okay, what else is here? So let's just collect everything first. So this is supposed to be a door. Okay. Okay. All right, so I'm pretty sure that this is uh, this has a purpose. Let's try a knife on one of these dresses. Let's actually see if I can cut this thing off. Awesome. Well, game logic worked. Knife on things works the best. It's funny how this knife actually stayed with me the longest. I think uh, even longer than the picture. All right, so I need to figure out how how what this does. So. Wait, wasn't there a pine cone? There's a key back there. Where is the pine cone? It's right here, but he's not showing here. Excuse me, Mr. Pine Cone. Interesting. He's gone. I feel texture. It says something here, but I can't read it. Um, maybe a knife again. Okay, so I got the key. Hmm. Maybe there's nothing else I can do in here. I don't. I don't really. Wait, is this a key as well? No. I don't think. I don't know if this has a purpose. Let's just. Uh, Let's see if I can just open the door for now. No, there's no keyhole in here. Okay. Um, oh, that's the golden box. Of course. Okay. Okay. First twice to the left. What? Okay. So this is the hint to open the box. Right? So twice to the left. Where? where which left? Oh, these are ears. Okay. Uh, first, twice to the left. Which left? Where's the left? Left, right. So two times left, one times right. Two in the middle, left, middle. Okay. So I'm going to think it's the ear. Left, two. Right, one. Middle, two. Left one, middle. Yay! It opened. I'm a master. Inside there's a key and some kind of a schematic. Mabuka Mabuka. Wake up my mother Mabuka. The horned child is playing with the light. The Baloka is angry and the shining too bright. Mother Mabuka, wake up, wake up and give up the child before the darkness ends in the hands of the light. 
Mabuka must wake up. Let's build the echo clock on the back of the giant cat. Too strong are the bubbles and too bright the light, she cried. Me, Mabuka, the mother of darkness, will open my heart. Please take my little horned evil child and shut down the lights. Okay. Oh, I have to make this. Okay, so I have piano keys, I have empty keys. Bulb, clock, bottle with water, soap, glove, and black wire. Huh. That is a lot of things to collect. Okay. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. That's where the key was. I remember now. And this has a key cat's ears, right? Excellent. What's that? The, what is it supposed to do? That is weird. I don't know why it did that, but it did that. All right, so let's go. Whoa, normal. Okay, there's an eye here. What a big eye. What are you looking at? Let's take the key. Okay, now we have two keys. Mm. Which key does which door does it open? I start with uh start with this one. Wait, no, wrong key. I picked up this key. It did it. It did it. It worked. One more key. I don't think that's appropriate, miss. I'm sorry, but I need this key. There are many doors that I wish to unlock. Tell your friend to be nice and open his mouth. He won't. He never does. Besides, his teeth are reinforced. It would be hard to get that key without the permission. Reinforced teeth? I see. I'll see what I can do to take the key then. And who are you, if I may ask? My name is Fran. Nice to meet you, friend. I'm Roberto. Welcome to Mabuka's Den. Mabuka? Who is Mabuka? You don't know who Mabuka is, you don't? Leave now, just leave. But Roberto, I haven't been here before. Don't judge me for not knowing. Tell me who Mabuka is instead, so I know. Okay, Mabuka is the mother of darkness. The darkest darkness, the obscurity, the end of light. She is the mother of all creatures from fifth reality. I'm at the fifth reality? I thought Remor was the king here. Remor the Terrible Black, the son of darkness. Nobody likes him too much. You should go now. I said enough. Alright, I'll be back later anyway. I must get your friend's key. Inside the little house. Okay. Doesn't do anything else. I don't know the number. Itward forgot his hat. Or maybe the hat forgot its head. Okay. Uh, soap, I need that. Does the sound of my heart disturb you? I, it can stop all of a sudden and it work by the end. I just want the soap. So, are you having trouble with hygiene? Terrible problems. I smell like my flesh with the all rotten inside. That sounds delicious. I don't think that would be a problem. Maybe for you, but just let me have the soap for a little while. Alright, take it. It's all yours. Yay, I have my second, third ingredient. What's up with your nose? Be careful with the hijackers. They love children that smell like soap. They eat their baby bodies and keep their heads, their beautiful baby faces. That sounds terrible. I'll be careful. Thank you for the soap. See you later. There's a rose here. Can I pick it up? Oh, water. Water. I need water for... I can't put it anywhere. Okay, I'll have to come back here when I have some sort of uh, container. Alright, so... Soap. What can I do with the soap? Can I go in there? Oh, I need that bottle. This is room 103. Can I use soap? On this guy? Nope. Okie dokie, that's not gonna work. Alright, so it looks like maybe there's nothing here. I still have one more key, so let's just, uh... Maybe this is for room 104? Yay! Let's go in here. Okay, there's another eye. So many eyes. Intruder and inf infiltrator! Why would you enter without presenting yourself? I'm Akula, the eye from beyond, beyond my clarity. I'm sorry, what a big eye you are. You must see very well. I see everything, nothing less. Can you see my cat? 
Your cat. How is it possible that you own a cat? Are you a royal? A queen? A princess? No, we're friends. Friends. How lovely. But yes, I did see a cat earlier today. It was crying for help from inside a cage. The bearer of the cage entered Mabuka's underground. He's still down there inside the cage. Can you describe the cat you see? Big yellow eyes, pink nose, its fur is very dark, black as the deepest night. It's him, it's my friend Mr. Midnight. I have to find him. But Mabuka is asleep. I'm not afraid of her. Well, feel free to take anything you need from my home. You are brave and I respect bravery very much. Thank you, Akula. I'm friend, by the way. Okay, I'll take that. And what else do you have? Ooh. Golden snail. Hmm. Is there nothing else? Okay. Oh, there we go. Insert button. There goes my button, now what? Where's my key? Give me the key! No? No key. Interesting. This is not doing anything. Okay, I need the bottle to fill it with water. Oh, cable. I don't know what that's for, but you can always use a cable. What are these things? The bulbs are very hot. The eyes are looking around. Oh, what's this for? I didn't even see this before. Oh, look at that. Bulbs are off. Yeah, I got a bulb now. Perfect bulb. That's one of the ingredients. Okay, so let's go get some water. Now, do I use this on the uh, on the dark spirit or what? Hmm. I still need the key. Oh, wait, the pliers. Can I use the pliers on his teeth? Maybe I can. Oh, gross, but awesome. Sorry, dude. I need that. Pardon the moi. Would that be 103? No. I need the last key. Oh, there's a cat here. A wake up clock. Perfect. Wow, what a big cat. It has a door in its butt. You look exactly like Mr. Midnight. Alright, there's a glove right there. What's inside your body? Back of a giant cat. Hello tree, you're big. Okay, I got a glove. Let me just check how many... Okay, I need a wake up clock. That's the last... The last uh, thingy right here. Whoa! Hey, there's another key right there. Hello. Oh, these are the thing. In the fifth dimension, they're supposed to be super hot. I really need the key hanging just behind you. Excuse me, but I do not talk to strangers. Let me take the key. If I choose not talking to strangers, not listening is also part of the deal. Are you stuck? I'm firmly attached to it. Why do you ask? I'm just curious. See you later. Can I cut it off? Hmm, can I use this? No. Alright, so I don't know how to get this yet. Let's figure this out 
by going to... Wait, can I cut this off? Can I cut, just cut this off? I can! Awesome! Look, I have all the ingredients now, I think. Perfect. Now, what do I... Do I combine them? I must wake up Mabuka. Uh, empty case. Oh, this case. Okay. Uh, combine... Nothing is being combined with it. Okay. That, oh, that did something. Okay, so I need to maybe put them inside. So it, this is a Mabuka then. Is that Mabuka? I guess it makes sense. No? Negative. Cool! That did something. Oh, nice! It made the thingy for me. This is amazing. The aqua clock is finished. Okay. Hmm. Uh, how do we... Alright, I don't really know. I need to figure out, maybe it can work on that fire thing, on the Lucifer. No, let's just use everything on her. Look, I found a magical hair comb. Isn't it great? I don't know. I have a hair comb? What is that? Want to try it? I don't know. Is it dangerous? It can be very pleasant if you do it smoothly. All right, let's try it. But promise you won't burn me, okay? I'll only burn if I'm in danger. Be gentle and nothing bad will happen. Okay, I'll be gentle. It worked! What is happening to me? I've never experienced anything like this before. But how? You're a Luciferin. All Luciferins I've met do this all the time. Really? Well, thank you very much. It feels incredible. I feel like I need to fly away. Yay! Okay, this is a key to door 103. How do I reach it? Nope. 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 What do I do indeed? What to do? Hmm. Uh, I don't see anything else. I'm trying to look around to see if I can find some kind of a... I don't know, like a stick or something. Wait, does the tree have something for me? Hey tree, do you have a stick for me? No, I haven't found it. Wait, can I use the thingy? Oh, throw something. Let me see what I can find. Wait, what? Wait, what? I didn't read this. Well, from up there, the only thing that to do would be throwing something. Throwing something, eh? I don't get it. What do you throw? How do you throw it? Can I just use this? No. Hmm. I don't know. A lot of sticks here though. I could totally use these to, uh, you know, pick up my other key. Alright, so maybe there's nothing here. 
Uh, so what do I do? Like, what else can we? There's something here. Hmm. I just realized I can also fill the balloons with water, and then we can. Because the tree was saying, can you throw something? And I think I can throw the balloons at, at the at the spirit. Water balloons. Let's see if this is if my logic is correct here. I hope it is. So we go to the window. And let's try. Yay! What? I missed. Ah, oh, come on. Yay! Wow, I don't feel sad anymore. Thank you. Don't worry, I'm happy you feel better. I do feel better. Let me give you something in return. Yay, stick. Exactly what I need, a tree. A peace of mind. You can plant it if you like. Thank you, sir. I'm gonna go find my cat now. I hope you find it. See you around. Alright, so I think this was the last piece of a puzzle. And now we just have to go back to room 102. Climb the elevator. And use the stick to get the other key so we can open the, la open the last door. And here we go. Use. Use this here. I can reach it. Now I have the key. Okay, here goes the last door. I believe this is door 103. Yes, door 103. Oh, it looks creepy from the outside. And inside as well. Okay, great. So, okay. Creature from above, get out from my buka's den, you're not welcome. Wake up my buka, I'm looking for my cat. How did you plan to wake her up? With the crazy ideas of Cogwind? He's not crazy. So you know him, I assume you have been into Etherista. Horrid place if I may say. Dazzling. Well, that that's exactly where I want to go after I find my kitty. Good for you, you fragile little mind will be there, safe there with all those boring creatures. I'm going now, you wicked tree, my kitty is waiting for me. Okay, my book is dreaming about you, grinding with teeth, you grinding with teeth, you Patrick's skull, drinking your tears full of fear. She grins while the blood of your eyes pleases her soul. Okay. This floor is beating like a heart. So I guess I just have to use the thing on her. Is that all I have to do? Okay, beware of Mabuka, the awakened darkness rises from the unknown. I'm sorry to wake you up, mother, but I need a favor from you. Can somebody tell me who this creature is, quite insolent for such a tiny body? I can answer that myself. I'm friend Bao, human girl, 11 years old and I'm very brave, so you know. A human in Mabuka's den, that's amusing, who brought you here? That would be Remor, I think he's your son, isn't he? Did my son manage to enter your head already? You mean like cutting my head open? I don't think so. Did you drink or eat some sort of a reddish potion or beans? Beans? My pills looked like red beans, so yes, I took a whole bunch. Then I cannot use violence against you, the power has been unleashed. I hope you find beneath the ground the truth that you seek. Thank you, but what power has been unleashed, can you tell me? The power inside you, don't you know? You were selected by the five realms of his essential existence to be the keeper of the key. The five realms of essential existence was created parallel with time. What are you talking about? The keeper of the key? Who told you this? The great Valokas from Primeve told us everything a long time ago. The keeper will be hunted by the son of darkness after feeding from the Red Sea. But you're too young, I must say. Too young indeed to be the keeper of the key. There's something about you. Did something obscure happen to you? I think Remor killed my parents, Madame Buka. Can you imagine how it feels? I am all of those feelings, friend Bao. I am all the sinister, all the darkness you can imagine. I feed from tears and sorrow, from desperation and fear. But then you don't care if Ramor killed my parents. I thought you were nice. I'm curious about knowing the reason, if that makes you feel better. Now I understand. It's the reason. Uh, okay, go on, Keeper. Be brave. I'll open my heart for you. Okay, so she's also evil. What? What? Where am I? <laughs> What's going on? Oh no, she has like little babies inside her body. Oh, that's so gross. 
That creature's body is made out of baby faces. Do I know you from somewhere? You took something from me, didn't you, you little thief? Where is my knitting needle? Ah, did you stab all your little friends with it? What knitting needle? Are you the dead nurse I saw back in Oswald Asylum? Do I look dead to you, you little beast? Take a number, would you? And wait for your turn in the waiting room. But, Miss Nurse, I don't need medical attention, I just want to find my kitty. Take a number and wait, I won't repeat myself. Okay, let's take a number. 07. Okay. I guess I'll... Oh, do I give it to her? Just take a number and wait for your turn. Oh no, there's like other people waiting. I wonder how long I must wait for hours, maybe days? I've been waiting for a week now. How long has everyone been waiting? I've been waiting for like a month. I have number two, so it must be my turn very soon. I've been waiting for three and a half weeks, totally hopeless. Excuse me, everyone, but is there a way to make things faster? Yes, become a doctor yourself, that would be faster. And by doing that, you could also help us all. But why won't you become a doctor yourself then? I can't because I feel very sick. I can't, my R eye is blinded. I have this broken horn, you see. I can't be a doctor, I must be patient. Neither can I, I've lost my ability to frighten myself in front of the mirror. Well, I'm not sick at all, please let me go before you. I can't, I don't even know what illness I have, that's why I'm here. Do you feel pain? Somewhere? That's a very hard question, make it softer. How can I do that? Have you tried pulling your eyes off? It helps sometimes. It's impossible to talk with you, you make no sense. Of course you can't make sense of us, you're not the one that sees it all. You've only known us for a few minutes, that's very little time to understand it all. That's true, but it would be nice to use some common sense. What does common sense to do with uncommon sense doesn't? It helps you understand. We do understand each other very well, we're with our uncommon sense anyway. Yes, we actually do, we do respect the differences. But who is the one that sees it all then? You mean Mabuka? No, Mabuka knows everything, it's not the same as seeing everything. Now I want to wait because talking won't m make the wait any longer. Alright, thank you for nothing. Hmm. I still have the crayon, I wonder what the crayon is for. Uh. Okay. I think my horn won't grow again. Do you see the screen? I have number two, it's almost my turn. My R-I is broken. You're serving number one, okay. Alright. Can I draw on this? Wait, combine with this. One, one more time. Combine with this. No. Can I give it to her? Can you exchange my tickets? I have number seven. I would like to help you, but it's my turn to help myself, so no. Can you change my tickets? Nope. What about you? Exchange our tickets? I have number seven. No, I need to know if I'm in pain. I need to know what illnesses I have. What if I find out what illness you have? Would you then give me a ticket? Sure. Can I stab you? Can I draw on you? No. Can I book you? Mm, can I picture you? No. My book is all knowing, should know, right? She's all knowing. Hello, Mabuka. Can you help me? Hello. Hello. Why are you sleeping? Okay. Oh wait, I can still exit. I didn't realize that. Uh, let's go ask the eye. He uh, he knows stuff, right? He sees stuff. I need your help. Of course, what can I do for you? Patient trouble. Can you tell me what illness the creature who has ticket number two suffers from? Uh, let me see. Uh, from what I see, it's not really an illness. It's just a headache caused by the low levels of agony. It's possible to help him somehow? Yes. Cry in all the tears you can cry until you fill the bottle, will do. But don't forget, the tears must be caused by real sorrow. That won't be a problem, I'm in a very problematic point in my life. 
I thought everything was going to be better when Kitty and I got home. But now everything is so confusing and Grace is totally crazy. Talking to her was horrible, I really trusted her. I don't know what to do now, Mabuka said that I was selected for something. But she fell asleep again and I won't answer my questions. I need my kitty, Mr. Midnight's hugs are the biggest comfort in my life. I just want to find him so we can go back to Thirsta and be happy. Oh no, <laughs> the bottle of tears. Excellent, let's go back. Time does not wait for anybody, you should just go now. Okay, that's an interesting way of solving a puzzle. Let's give him the tears. Here, drink this, you'll feel much better. Trying to poison me? Ha, ah, lovely. It tastes like the most profound and darkest elixir I've tasted before. Give me more, give me more! Leave me alone, you promised to give me the ticket and if I helped you. Alright, there you go. And thank you, the tears, your tears taste absolutely delicious. Let's go. Can I go in? No. Hello patient number two, we're going to do all we can to save you. Do you have an appointment? Not really, you told me to take a number. I'm sorry, we don't help sick people without an appointment. I'm not sick, I lost my kitty and I want to find him. Don't worry, that's a natural reaction to your sickness. You're lucky enough, many lose their mind in instead. But how do I get an appointment then? Just call me, here's my card with a phone number. Are you insane? Call us. <laughs> uh, why can't you make an appointment? That would be silly because now I'm waiting for you to call me. Alright. Okay, you're gonna make it difficult for me, right? Alright. Where's the phone? Where is the phone? I saw the phone somewhere, didn't I? Yes, I remember the phone. I think it was in room 105? Yes. The number is 012217276. That's hard. 0122127276 Hello, you told me to call me to make an appointment. Friend Bao? Hmm, I'm available now. I do have a pair of eyes, really? Okay, I'll see you in a minute. Great, thank you, bye-bye. And here we go, let's go see the doctor. Ah, come on, seriously. Yes, my name is Fran Bao, I have an appointment, let me check. Yes, there you are. Doctor will see you in a minute. Thank you. Oh, she! I'm sorry, did I scare you? You look quite pallid. Ah, uh, yes, what a nightmare, you look like a healthy human. Thank you, I guess. Now, if you don't mind, I have an appointment. I don't mind, actually, because it's none of my business. That was patient number one, I guess. Oh no, it's you again! You haven't chosen to end your life yet? Isn't the pain you feel enough? You are Remmer, aren't you? I haven't gotten the chance to introduce myself properly. Sadly, I cannot be seen in the third reality for long periods of time. I am Remmer, the terrible Black Prince of Darkness. I know who you are, don't try to act like nothing happened. Did you kill my parents? Where's my cat? What did you do to Dr. Dearn? I enjoy immensely seeing your suffering drapling from your eyes. You're a manifestation of my desires, I can use you for whatever I want. You're under my power. That is not true, not anymore. I won't allow you to trick me anymore. Tell me, why did you kill my parents? Why? You're assuming that it was I who did such a terrible thing. I saw you that night outside my window, it must be you who did it. You trust your eyes too much. Haven't you learned that human receptors are weak? Your body is fragile, easy to corrupt. Oh no! It can't be, stop it! I didn't do it, I 
It wasn't me. Stop it, please. Who was it, my darling? Who killed your parents? The dull little creator must suffer and die before becoming a star. Okay, wait, so is that true? Did I actually kill them? I haven't killed my parents. That monster wants to trick me, I know. Everybody's crazy around here. I have to find Katie and leave. Okay. <laughs> we would look so funny without the skin. Oh no, it's the doctor. What's he doing? Kitty, my darling, I'm here for you. Are you alright? Answer me, what's wrong with you? Meow meow. Why won't you talk to me, Mr. Midnight? Please don't do this to me. Purr. Hmm, this isn't funny. It's the pl this it's this place, isn't it? You must get out of here so you can talk to me again. I'll talk I'll take you to Thursday, my darling, but Palontras can help us. I promise you, nothing will tear, tear us apart from now on. Meow. Oh kitty, I'll be right back. I must help Dr. Dearn, alright? He seems to be in trouble. Dr. Dearn! Dr. Dearn, wake up! Are you alive? Hmm. Need to wake him up. Let's take the syringe. Stab him with the syringe. Maybe this will wake him up. Ugh! Damn, what was that? Don't worry, Dr. Dearn, it's me, Fren. I can't see very well. It's me, Fren, from Oswald Asylum. We were at the cemetery, remember? What happened, Fren? Fren? Why am I tied to a chair? What have you done? I'm trying to help you, sir. The big monster brought you here. We must go. Come on, friend. Monsters? I don't feel like playing games. Alright, it wasn't a monster at all. Just let me help you. But what is she doing here? I thought you chained her. Ah, but I did. I told you she was a hard one to tame. You want me to get rid of her? Get rid of me? Aunt Grace, why are you talking like that? Who is this old man? How lovely. You sound just like your mother when she was young. My mother? Do you know her? Who are you? I'm Dr. Oswald Harrison. I know everything about you, friend. From an Oswald Asylum? Yes, friend. The same old man. Why do you know about my mother and my aunt? Many years ago, I was studying the magnific magnificent complexity of twin siblings. Lucy and Grace were part of my study, but both helped me to find the key to success. Did you know that my mother and father were murdered? Of course. Bremer did a great job. His power of manipulation is extraordinary. What I don't understand is how you can be so calm about it. It was you holding that knife after all. I'm not calm, sir. I knew that it was Rammer all the time, but why does he hunt me? Rammer is a manifestation of your weakness. A blinded and a powerful manifestation of your fears. Why would the monster kill my parents? Because your parents were interfering with my work. But I actually did you a favor. You are suffering. And pain is connected to growth and strength, friend. Oswald, please, let's just do what we need to do. And Grace, please, don't be mad at me, we're family. Let us go, my kitty and I can find a place to go without bothering you. Please, just let us go. You're right, friend. I'm sorry for being so hard on you. Come on, let's go now. Seriously, I can just go? Okay. Can I shock this guy first? Hehe. <laughs> electric shock. That's awesome. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> What's the button for? Nothing. Okay. Alright. My dear, listen to me. You must know, Dr. Oswald only wants the best for you. When we see you was pregnant, he knew you'd be a very special girl. He told us to take good care of you, but your mother betrayed us. She wanted to hide from us. She thought we wanted to kill you, but that's not true. He really wants to give you the best. But for that, you must allow him to try an experiment on you. And then everything will be fine? Of course, but there is still one thing we must take care of. This little traitor must go. No! You jerks! Come on, friend, stop weeping. The cat is dead now. He was my friend. You killed my best friend. You also helped to kill my parents, didn't you? Didn't you? How can you live with yourself? I hate you. 
I hate you. Stop it, friend. Help, help. Please, help. Don't you dare touch Grace, you little monster. Oh no, he shot me. Oh my goodness, she's totally insane. Bring her to me, I'll do the experiment while she's still warm. I need to extract the brain right away. Are you alright? What have you done with her? She tried to kill me, you were right about friend, Dr. Deer, and she was sick. But she's bleeding, let me take care of her. No you won't, she's mine now. I've been waiting for this moment for many years, looking for the right child, the right brain. Now that I have her, nothing can stop me. Except for this guy. Oh, friend, everything will be fine. Who are you? I'm Itward, the one many children talk about. But you're not human. You speak some language here? Oh, Palontras, hey, Gorska Itward, I found him. Oh my goodness, stay away from the girl, leave her alone. Alright, the cat is alive. Little friend must be cured. Do you think you can use the same body? Yes, she's not completely gone yet. Here I go. Mother Mabuka, you took the innocence of the child. Friend is now dead and alive. Wake up in darkness, friend, and you'll be able to walk towards light. Hey, she's alive! What happened? It worked? Palantras? My heart, my heart hurts. <laughs> Mr. Midnight? You're alive, my kitty. I missed you so much, please tell me something. We must go, friend. Go? Alright. Dr. Dearn, look, this is Itward and Palontas. I told you about them, remember? I told you they were real. See? Can you believe me now? I guess that's a no? Holy crap! His eyes are bleeding. He can't hear you. I think he is under the power of Mabuka now. We really must leave now. But can he come with us? Please, he's been really nice to me. He really wanted to protect me and help me. We can't bring him with us, I'm sorry. But what we can do is to make him believe that all of this was a dream. He will wake up and think none of this really happened. He won't remember you, friend. I see. Well, that's okay, I guess. As long as he's safe. That's very kind. You're finally seeing beyond your own desires. You're becoming one with everything. Your parents will be very proud of you. You really think so? Thank you, Palantras. Now let's send Dr. Dearn home. Goodbye, Dr. Dearn. Let's go now, friend. There's so much you must see and learn. That sounds like fun. Let's go, kitty. I still don't know many things. But one thing I do know. That between the guilt and fear, I choose happiness. Alright, excellent. So this is the end of the game. I hope you enjoyed this playthrough. This was a great game, definitely one of the must-haves for 2015. And this has been Antirex on Gaming with Bran... No, not Bran, Friendbow! A horror point-and-click adventure. Thank you guys, game you later, and bye-bye.